Okay, let's get right to it today. I'm going to go over the answers to the assignment. Um, I apologize for all the confusion about using the scribble function on Google Docs. I thought it would be fun, but I've been wrong about things like that in the past, and I will again in the future. I thought I would uh, start off today with a corny joke. Uh, two fish were swimming along, one hit a wall, and the other one said, Dan. Dan, okay. Little structures. Uh, the best way to approach this is, and I'll go over the answers right now. Um, the best way to approach this is to write down the individual Lewis structures for all the atoms and then put it all together, assemble them into the molecule. So I did that first one for you. I'm going to do the uh, second one. It was um, CH2Cl2. So when you look at that, you have to recognize that these subscripts are itemizing how many atoms of each of these elements exist. These are two of these, two of those, and one carbon. And if you had read the textbook, carbon tends to be centralized when it's um, combined with multiple atoms. But let's just list the little structures. So you have carbon, and there are the four electrons for carbon. And then you have two hydrogens and then two chlorine atoms, each one with seven valence electrons. And if you keep in mind that you want to assemble these in a way that all the atoms are either sharing or have their own electrons to, com to, um, com to comprise eight valence electrons, that magic octet number, except for hydrogen, which has this tiny little orbital where it can only accommodate two electrons, you can see how this would work. You can see how, visualize how this part hydrogen can latch on here, and this can latch on there, and this one can latch on over here, and this one can latch on over there. I'm sorry, over here. And when you assemble this entire structure, you get carbon in the center, and then surrounded by four atoms and this is the Lewis structure for this particular molecule um, trichloral methane is actually the name of this don't worry about that and you can also um, put in dashed lines here Either one is acceptable to represent the structural formula of this molecule. I'm going to put in the electron dots for the chlorine atom. And that's the answer. Is that what you got? Okay. Let's do the next one. Oh, Let's do the next one. So we have um I'm losing my whiteboard. <laughs> Okay, and then it was this one, NH3, which happens to be ammonia, which is a lot of people are using ammonia these days for, sterol, for sterilization. Nitrogen, one, two, three, four, five electrons. And then you have three hydrogens. Is there a way that these can combine so that all the atoms have eight? Sure. Here's our nitrogen. And here's a hydrogen here, here's a hydrogen here, and here's a hydrogen there. Notice that nitrogen has two, four, six, eight electrons, and then each hydrogen has two electrons, and um, that's the ammonia molecule. And some people write it like this, with the two unshared electrons up there on the top of nitrogen. Okay. What else was there? What else was there? This one here, C2H6, follows the same pattern. Two carbons. 
and six hydrogens. These are all the Lewis structures for the atoms. And look how this combines together. Carbons can bind to themselves. And uh, these each go around the perimeter. This one goes over here, this one goes over here, and this one goes over there, and <laughs> clear as mud. Combining it all together, we have our two carbons surrounded by the six hydrogen atoms, and then all the dots are in there. And uh, that's it. And you know you're right, because if you add up all the electrons, you got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14 electrons in total. And you have six here from the six hydrogens and uh, eight from the two carbons and eight plus six, is 14 so you know you got it all it's all there and this is another way to draw it this would be perfectly acceptable that's a perfect Lewis structure and uh, each dash represents a pair of electrons we never write the electron dots like that we write them like that. Let me show them up. A lot of people did that. Style points, I have to take a little bit off for that. The last one, the textbook for methane, the textbook said uh, methanol. The textbook said do the CH3 group first and then add on the OH. Well, okay, here's carbon and three hydrogens. And then if I have a oxygen, which has got six, and a hydrogen, how can that all combine together? Well, here's the carbon. Here. Sorry. Three carbons, I mean, one carbon, three hydrogens, and um, here's that electron here, which is going to combine with something. Now, hydrogen tends to be on the end. I don't know if you noticed that, but because it only has two electrons, it can't share from both directions. It can only be latched on at the end of a, of a molecule. And so there's our hydrogen there. And uh, this is it. And if you add up all the electrons, you got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and uh, 14. And here you got 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14 electrons. So we got these electrons here and these electrons all adds up. And that's the, uh, that's methane, which is actually one carbon short methanol which is one carbon short of ethanol, which would look like this. So what's ethanol? Ethanol is C2, right? H5OH. And ethanol is what's in hand sanitizer. And the, the alcohol, the ethanol the alcohol group is that OH that's stuck on at the end. All alcohols have that. And then they have different uh, amounts of carbon. On this side here, ethanol has two carbons. And if you wanted to do it, it would end up looking like this. These are the five carbons with the two, and the five hydrogens with the two carbons here. And then here's our oxygen, ethanol, our hydroxyl group at the end. And if you add up all the electrons, 
That's our Lewis structure for our methyl, which wasn't an assignment. All right, so I hope that was clear. Since you guys did such a great job and uh, there was some confusion about how to present these, I thought what I would do is I would just give you some more to do. Let's just do four more of these Lewis structures and then we'll move on. I did not assign the section review questions for this chapter. Um, the chapter that we're working on is the second section of chapter six, second section, but I didn't assign the review questions. So I'm assigning four more Lewis structures. I'd like some people to do, I'd like people to do it, especially the people that turned in the wrong assignment last week. Number one, why don't you do uh, sulfur dichloride? That would be SCL2. Number two, I'd like you to, to give me the Lewis structure for arsenic trifluoride. Uh, arsenic is AS, and fluorine is F, and there's three of them. That's what it's called, arsenic trifluoride. We'll get into naming these later. Third problem would be uh, silicon tetrahydride. What? SiH4. And lastly, take a crack at my favorite um, toxic waste, trifluoromethane. Uh, CHF3. Okay. Does that show up? Sure, it does. So, that is this week's assignment. Turn in these Lewis structures for your work this week. Okay. So I'll see you on the internet.